Welcome to another episode of Terry TV. I'm Evan. And I'm Kirsten. We hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break and are getting ready for the Christmas holiday. Before we look at this morning's announcements, let's see what Cameron asked our seniors in this week's Senior Spotlight question. I'm here for Senior Spotlight and I'm here with... Sydney Bunce. Boo. John Kiger. Moose. <laughs> and we're asking, what's your favorite childhood movie when you were growing up? SpongeBob. Definitely Project X. <laughs> Toy Story. College. Here for Senior Spotlight, and I'm here with Michaela, Cole, Brayden. And my question today is, what was your childhood favorite <gasps> like movie? Movie. Mm -hmm. Attention seniors, Prestige has decided to return to the school for one last opportunity to get your formal portrait for the yearbook and graduation slideshow on January 4th. Please see Ms. Acker in room 267, your English teacher or guidance counselor, to schedule your photo. This will be the last opportunity to get this picture taken as the studio will be closed for the rest of the school year. Congratulations to the William Byrd Choir for recently having 25 singers selected to all district choir. In our musical district, 27 high schools participated and only two had more selected to all district choir than the William Byrd High School. The 25 Byrd singers who made it, it's a new school record and it is almost 10% of the new total selected as all district delegates. Special congratulations to Aledo Onyanwu, Abigail Bush, Sindel Camper, and Connor Wheeler for scoring among the top of their respected voice parts, and to Christian Parker for scoring number one overall in his voice part. Congratulations also to Owen Humphreys, who has an alternate originally, but is now officially part of the lineup. The William Byrd NNDCC unit will be collecting new unwrapped toys for Toys for Tots now through December 11th. Toys for Tots is a program run by the United States Marine Corps Reserve, which distributes toys to children whose parents cannot afford to buy them gifts for Christmas. If you would like to donate a toy, please drop it off in the box outside the NJROTC Room 152. If you have questions, please see Cadet Jamie Umberger or Senior Chief Perrine. Sign Language Club is a group of kids who was interested in taking American Sign Language as, since we don't have it as a course, decided to do it um, voluntarily outside of school just to um, have some fun and like learn some more about the way that people can communicate regardless of like English language. So we're using our hands and our bodies as a medium of speaking. And we'll practice once we learn all this stuff, we'll do it with the music and we'll be like, <laughs> Um, I started sign language club because I've always had an interest in signing. Um, when I was little, I used to pick up signs from friends at school, and there was a point in my life, probably when I was in my mid to late twenties, where I wanted to sign at a church and interpret at a church during praise and worship. So then I bought some sign language books and started out, and then I dropped it and lost interest and got busy. So I thought that um, starting Sign Language Club would be really cool because it's going to force me to learn sign language and it's going to be like an outreach to other kids and other families in the community that could learn it and it could be helpful. Just learning new words and then using them in sentences. Like I love like learning the word beautiful was really cool because now I can use that whenever I'm talking to people like my mom and stuff like that, you know, just making a wholesome conversations. And I know that my sister took ASO outside of school and the way that she was able to use that in um, her life as a psychiatrist or like as pharmacist in CVS, I think I'm just excited for that. And I think that's my best part is knowing what's gonna come in the future. Let's check in to our clubs and see what we're up to in the next coming weeks. Bird Buddies will be having their paint night on December 6th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. The cost is $20 per person for the paint night after school in the cafeteria. 
They will be serving pizza, chips, cookies, and drinks. Please have all money turned into Miss Bush in room 163 as soon as possible so that they have time to buy necessary supplies. The Leah Club wants to thank everyone who participated in their Stock the Shelves food drive. They went above and beyond their goal and collected 582.5 pounds of food. This is a 216% increase from last year. Thank you, Terriers. The winners of the pizza parties are Miss Martin's six B Spanish four class with 144.8 pounds, Senior Chef Perrin's NNDCC class with 121.4 pounds, and and Mr. Plyman's 5A class with 85.8 pounds. Congrats to the top three classes on their pizza parties. The marketing branded Christmas trees are now on display outside of room 256. Check out each of the trees and vote on your favorite tree by scanning the QR codes above each tree. You can only vote once and must have an RCPS email to vote. Hi, I'm Nathan Hanson. I'm here with Corey and for tonight's game. With what has been your favorite theme across all football games? My favorite theme across all football games is the USA. Night. All right, who am I here with today? Uh, Dakota Adams. And at Williamsburg, what has been your favorite game that you've been to? Yeah, you know, there's been so many good games, but I gotta say the game last two weeks ago against Fort Bosset was great. 14 to 12. It was a great game. We, we, All right, who am I here with today? I love you. And for for a bird, what's your favorite chant to do at a game? Uh, probably BYRD. Let's go, bird. I'm Cameron Aker, and today I'm with Eva Akalo, and we're asking today, um, what's your favorite winning song? We are the champions by Queen. Um, my favorite winning song is the Terriers because all we do is win. Basically, hello, uh, I'm Cameron, and today I'm with. Boo, Keller, Sauce. And we're wondering who do you think is going to win tonight's game? That's a tough one, man. That scoreboard, you never know what could change in the fourth quarter of a game, but I'm sticking with my boys in the loon out there. Give me Bird. Give me Bird. Bird all the way! Yeah! We've got Terrier Varsity football battling it out at the semifinals this Saturday against Liberty Christian Academy in Lynchburg. The game starts at 2 p.m., so make sure to come out and support your Terrier football. Tickets are available online, and only VHSL passes are accepted for this state semifinal game. Winter sports are underway, and here are your upcoming athletic events. Congratulations to Ethan Haston for correctly guessing secret sound number six first. Please see Mrs. Farrington in the library for your prize. If you didn't know what secret sound six was, it was someone blowing into a glass bottle. We didn't have a correct guess for secret sound number seven, so here it is once again. Don't forget to scan the QR code to enter your guess for a chance at a weekly prize. If you have any ideas for future segments, please reach out to Mrs. Farrington in the library or one of us. That wraps up today's episode of Terrier TV. See you all next week.